She just said they didn't have a cat. They had one before they died. Also, so the tapping was a message to each other. I don't know if Puzzle's going to hear it. Domino. Um, he had this little bell around his neck to stop him from killing birds in the garden. And we used to write each other notes and put them in the bell and we could send them to each other. Mum found some of the notes once and she thought I was just writing to myself because our handwriting was identical. And we had our own words for things, so she didn't quite understand them anyway. Who am I talking to now? It's Eve. Eve was the one take... I, I don't know. These people are confusing as hell. Alright, so there's two similar clips there. Um, domino. Found to domino. No, nothing. Okay. Um, yeah. Nope. Um. Messages. Tap in. Tap in. Tap in. Tap, 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 tap. 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 Um, code? Code of practice? Um, teeth! That actually came up something. I've never really seen that. Um, I really don't know what I was missing. Um, call? Nope, oh, we got one. Um, 11.59. Oh, just before the confession. She sent him out of the house, kicked him out, <laughs> called me up, crying, and I went round. I guess I had a feeling I could hear something was wrong in her voice, but I wasn't sure what it was. She called me sister on the phone. She never calls me that. Ooh. Okay, so that was just before the confession. So I'm now missing three glyphs from the confession time. Oh, I'm crying. Ooh, one more. Oh, more about the phone. She's crying, I guess. She's sad because... She thought she saw her husband with another woman. But it's okay, because she finds out it wasn't her husband, it was his brother. And so it's fine. Bye. Looks like I know your situation. Similar to your situation, that's for sure. Um, so I didn't type a fair by itself before, but it didn't matter. Um, Can I still miscarriage this time? Yes, I can. Okay, back to the miscarriage. Then my parents died. Yeah, we know. It was the worst year of my life. Yeah, I can assume so. The miscarriage and then my parents. Then the rest of the other clip. Ah. Life. It's like fuck. Yeah. I mean, I was infertile. I thought I was. They told me I was infertile after the miscarriage because of complications. These damn complications. Ruining everything. Then you got- yes, hi, creepo. Then you got pregnant, your sister got pregnant. Oh, I forgot about the STD got. There's no more on that. Well, we know what this leads to. Perfect. Really? Yes. You're going to ask me about my sex life? Damn straight. Isn't that private? No. So we're about there. I haven't got to anything about sex. Are you married? How is your sex nope. life? Nope. Shit. Say not. I haven't. So, our sex life is probably fairly average for a couple after ten years of marriage. None. Betcha none. Plus you no. have a sister in Walter. You're talking to the wrong person if you think I'm some kind of slut. Yes. Some kind of person that would have had sex with all those guys. Yeah, that was your sister. Wasn't it? Oh, missed two clips out of that. Okay, so. 
Ooh, let's go system. Ooh, that worked. Ooh, 1158. Uh, when she went home, Sam had a birthday tea waiting. Afterwards, she told Sam about me. Ooh. Told him I was pregnant. Ooh. She wanted me to move in with them, this sister we didn't know she had. Ooh. She knew that instant. She marked up. The look on his face. She... Oh, wait, sorry. And she told him her sister was pregnant. Hi, Creeper. She told him, told him her sister was pregnant. He's like, shit, what? Huh? Like, what? And she's like, you whore to him. Because that was his sister. Okay. Oh, we went backwards. Ooh, 1204. 1204. Ooh, in between these. <gasps> Found something. Found something useful. Yes. My sister is gone. And she's never coming back. My F? She killed Simon and her sister? What? Um. Coming back? I just creeped me the fuck out. Drowned. She did say something about drowning? Drow. Water. Um. Oh. Lawyer. Ooh. Lawyer. Damn it, it's going backwards. That's fine. Should I just type? Can I leave? No. Are you going to arrest me? Yes. No. Yes. They'd laugh you out of the building. Ah, ah. A lawyer would make mincemeat of you. Wow, she did not sound offensive at all. Wow, that's very... Ooh, it's the day before. Yes. Yes. I understand my rights. No, I don't need a lawyer. You will in a minute. An hour, Arby. Half an hour? You will in half an hour. Don't know which I'm nearly time up. Yes. No lawyer. Yes, the lawyer. What are you going to arrest me for? Murder. Two accounts of it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that one. I need to hit that button. Ooh, nine o'clock. And that's when she gets the lawyer. Okay, so. Ah, so, 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 so. Um. Beep, boop. Oh, arrest. Ooh, 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 ooh. Another one. Oh. We found the in between quit. Oh, okay. Can you arrest someone who doesn't exist? Tell her for twenty one. That goes to you organize it? Oh good, can't. I miss it a clock. Damn it. Doesn't exist. And so I miss I've missed one. I forgot to pick up one. Okay. This is a nice of them. This is where you take people when it's time to arrest them. Yep. Okay. So that was the start of that day. Oh my god. That whole area is just dedicated to third. Like I said, I think I was popping out to get something. Ran out of something, had to grab something. I sometimes drive too fast. If you want, you can arrest me for that. I think we are. Okay. Wow, that got... Exist. 
just before the confessions. So I moved out. Got a small bed set. Okay. Got my tattoo to mark the occasion. So we did rest up. I was singing in a bar in the evenings. So I had some money, enough money to cover my rent. Okay. And I've been doing something similar ever since. I haven't put down any roots. Yeah. I don't exist. She doesn't. Okay, so that's just before the confession. Okay. So, bar. Go to this office. Yeah, I'm unimportant this one. Are you sure? It's her. What would you be doing in Oxford if there was no conference? I remember calling him. Is there an affair in Oxford? What's that? Sounds boring. He spent most of the time at the bar. Okay, skin. Saucy. He saw me singing one of my shows. Pure chance. I'm not sure I remember what he was even doing there. Afterwards, I had a drink at the bar and he came over and we got talking. I knew who he was. Obviously, I knew who he was. But talking about Simon. He didn't know who I was. He was fascinated by the light. Guess my name for my tattoo. <laughs> Told me it was a palindrome, and well, that would impress me. I enjoyed talking to him. It was amazing to be able to sit and interact and talk to him after all this time. He didn't tell me he was married. I'm not sure what he was thinking. He later told me it was like he was dreaming. Mm -hmm. A waking dream. No creepo? No. Oh. Yes, yeah, so it's straight after that one. Nothing else happened that night. No. Oh. We talked, then I said goodbye. Then next week I was sitting in the bar again and there he was. He's bored of his marriage because no one looks next like him. Week, I know I got Oxford again. I told them I had already eaten, um, and so we got chips and egg on the beach instead. When we said goodbye, he asked me to kiss him. Now you did. Romantic. Tarts. No, oh, never a Romantic. Yes, made a cat, Sam. Tarts, romantic. Okay. Just before the confession, again. I told her it was one of my boyfriends, someone I had met in the bar. Oh. I think she was happy. But I could tell she was thinking, why couldn't it happen to her and Simon? They were the ones with the real life. Why not them? Okay, so what? She met Simon at the bar. I'm trying to run away from all this. Met Simon at the bar, he got fascinated with her, eventually slept with her, got her pregnant. She told her sister but lied who it was, so the sister then asked him to let her move in with them. He's like, oh shit, she's like, you a-hole, and then slid in through to them. They hit the body, then apparently she disappeared as well. And now she is getting arrested. Okay, um... Told? No. Um, told Eve? No. Uh, I don't know how to get to the rest of this. Oh, oh, fair more. I think it was that time, the first time at the house, in his bed, Ooh. that I got pregnant. They're at the house. She did it at the house. It's amazing, right? It's a fucking magic spell. Yeah, tell me about it. And they say lightning doesn't strike twice. <laughs> I didn't tell him. I missed three periods. I had pretty irregular periods anyway, but three? I had always thought we were infertile. Both of us. I 
I didn't tell him. She didn't miss a day as well, then. Waited. Hannah and I were meeting for our birthday, and I told her because I thought she would be happy for us both. Okay. I think she was. Just she found out who. Yes, hello. Okay, just a few minutes beforehand. Just like I told you before, I drove. I took the car and drove. I don't have my own car, but I have a spare set of keys. I just drove north. To Glasgow. I wanted to think for some space between me and them. Everything I told you before is true. I stopped at Glasgow. I was tired, exhausted. I pulled out and I hit a car. My car was okay, but I was worried about the baby, so I went to a &E to get the okay. Everything was fine. a and &E. so car, when I woke, I tried to call Hannah from a payphone. She wasn't answering. And then I decided to drive back. I had decided that she was more important to me than Simon. But she had already known about Simon before. So she already found out about Simon and the baby. And killed him. What about A and E? Do we have anything about A and E? No, just that. Okay. Ooh, interview five. Ooh. Right, so from that, we're just cards and getting, but from that card, blue shirt. Okay, so that one's interview seven. Blue shirt, tattoo is five. So there's only one between, I think it was the 25th, and this is the third. Um, that must be the first, maybe? No, it's 30 from Oh, well, 30 new. Um, accident? I think I have something accident. No, yeah, apparently I did. Okay. Um, hmm. Anything to jog memory? E parents. Remember anything? No. Um,. Anna wig, Eve wig, hair. Ooh, found something. What kind of hairs? Blonde, I believe. Alright, so I figured that I got mo I pretty much got the ending of the game. We know what happened. Eve, no, Hannah, found out about her husband cheating on her with her sister Hannah, and she went psycho bit batshit crazy and killed him. And both of the girl sisters covered up the murder and found, made alibis, and then went to the police to try and make, get oh, get the murder off them. I mean, we don't know why. Um, Eve is the one. Actually, I don't know why Eve is the one that's up for it, but... So we pretty much finished the game, so I just came back to do the ending of the game, which I know is just a quick thing. So I just tag it, all on, tag it off this video. And then in one more video, I'll have the rest of the clips that I'm missing just to go through without me. Hey, don't have to look at this horrible thing. Alright, so, off the chit-chat. Colin, you're back, SB. Hey, you done? You're... Yep. Good, so you understand why your mother did what she did with the daughter. Eve's daughter, I'm assuming. No, I do not understand. That's understandable, Sarah. You can always come back again. I'll be outside. Log off and meet me over the road. Sure, I'll come see you. Log it off. Yep, quit. We're done. A reflection achievement. So, as I kept saying, creepy lady. Well, I don't remember if I said it or not. But creepy lady looks like um, Hannah. I think it is the one with the floral shirt and the hair tied up. I always thought she looked like that, but I mean, they both look the same. I think it's the same person anyway, just different hairstyles. But 
was really good. I enjoyed it. You know, going through these tiny ass clips, making you think of what, how to get to something, and then making you try to expand on your search items to get to that. Yeah, I really like this. I kind of because I love interactive games where you get to choose how the story plays out. Cause that's I think that that's the main complaint with Telltale's games where. You, it's, a, it's your story, but people don't see it as a way of you're the one picking the actions to tell the story instead of the whole it's not branching enough kind of stuff. But I really like this. You go pick your pathway through the experience. So that's the end of her story. I'll see you next time. Bye!